Good evening. Welcome to the Democratic Primaries 2020. Tonight we have Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, one of the most popular politicians in the United States, versus former Vice President Joe Biden under the Barack Obama administration, and junior Senator Kamala Harris from the great state of California. Today's the, the day of the Iowa caucus, and we have one major projection. Out of the Iowa caucus, we can now project that Bernie Sanders is the projected winner. He will win here after he lost back in 2016. And looking at the current map, we have one state filled in for Sanders, which will be colored by blue for the rest of our map. Joe Biden will be colored by red and Kamala Harris by a distinct turquoise color. Today's the day of the Neva New Hampshire primary, my bad. But Bernie Sanders nonetheless is the projected winner here. He won back in 2016 after a big upset in this state. And looking at the map, right now we only have two Sanders states in. Right now Bernie Sanders obviously is in the lead with the delegate count. Biden currently has won zero states along with Kamala Harris. Today's the day of the Nevada primary, and that will go to Senator Kamala Harris from the West Coast. Seems her appeal has reached out all the way to Nevada voters, and she will go on to be on the board before Vice President Joe Biden. And today is the day of the South Carolina primary. Huge African American population. We'll see how that takes an effect. Joe Biden is the projected winner out of the South Carolina Democratic primary, which puts him on our board here with one victory down in the South, while Bernie Sanders has two victories and Kamala Harris has one. Today's the day of Super Tuesday, and we have all the states in yellow, plus uh, other states, Democrats abroad. And looking at the map, we have a state call out of the state of Georgia. Joe Biden is the projected winner out of the Georgia Democratic primary. Huge African American population out of the state of Texas. Huge Latino population. Kamala Harris thought she had a shot here. Joe Biden is the projected winner. Huge delegate pickup for him. Out of the state of Virginia, a Clinton state back from 2016. Joe Biden will carry this in the Democratic primary. Out of the state of California, Kamala Harris. She is the projected winner out of her home state, junior senator here. Out of the state of Tennessee. Very big African American population here. Big cities carrying her to victory in the state of Tennessee. Out of the state of Alabama. They will go to Kamala Harris. They will award their delegates to her. Out of the state of Massachusetts, the state Bernie Sanders narrowly lost back in 2016 in the Democratic primary. Bernie Sanders will carry the state of Massachusetts. Out of the state of Vermont, his home state, will go to Bernie Sanders by a considerable margin of around 90%. And out of the state of Oklahoma, this is a very progressive state. Bernie Sanders, the projected winner. Out of the state of Minnesota, Bernie Sanders will carry their delegates in a proportional system, of course. The state of Minnesota going to Bernie Sanders. And out of the state of Colorado, another progressive state. A lot of wins for Bernie Sanders tonight. Bernie Sanders is the projected winner. And out of the Democrats abroad, Bernie Sanders will win pretty much the military vote for the Democratic Party. Bernie Sanders is the projected winner. And taking a current look at the map, we can see that Sanders has now taken a lead in the delegate count. Bernie Sanders has won a considerable number of contests, while Biden is behind in second place, and Harris is in third place. Today is March 5th, and we have three primaries today. Out of the state of Nebraska, Bernie Sanders, the projected winner by a considerable margin. Out of the state of Kansas, a state that he won well over 10 points back in 2016. Bernie Sanders, the projected winner yet again. Out of the state of Louisiana, Joe Biden is the projected winner again. Huge southern state here would probably affect the outcome of this race. Joe Biden, the projected winner. And looking at the map, Joe Biden is in second place, Bernie Sanders in first, and Kamala Harris in third. Today is March 6th, and the main primary is now up, which means that Bernie Sanders will go on to be the projected winner out of the state of Maine. He is the projected winner out of the Maine Democratic primary. Looking at the map, no real change here except for up in the Northeast. Today is March 8th, and the Michigan and Mississippi primaries are being held today. Out of the state of Michigan, no big surprise here. Bernie Sanders pulled a big upset back in 2016, winning the state. He will win it yet again against Joe Biden, his biggest competition, Kamala Harris, in the state of Mississippi. But she will go on to defeat both of the candidates, Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders, in the state of Mississippi. This state was originally projected to go to Joe Biden, but it will now go to Kamala Harris. Huge African-American population. As you can see on the map, the little southern range for a number of establishment Democrats where they need to win. Kamala Harris has now made inroads in the south. As you can see on the current map, we have Senator Sanders with the state majority, meaning he has won the most states. Biden has won um, the second. Actually, I believe he's tied with Kamala Harris, but right now Biden is ahead in the delegate. 
Today is March 12th, and the American Samoa primary is today. Out of the American Samoa, Joe Biden is the projection winner. Remember, this is a, not a, an official state of the United States of America, but they still have delegates. However, they cannot vote in the 2020 general election, but they can vote in the primaries. And looking at the map, Joe Biden has now taken the head of Kamala Harris, while Bernie Sanders remains in the lead. It is now March 15th, as standby for many major projections from multiple battleground states. Out of the state of Florida, Joe Biden is the projected winner of the Democratic primary here by a considerable margin. Out of the state of North Carolina, another considerable state to win for Joe Biden, he is the projected winner. Out of the state of Ohio, Bernie Sanders will carry the state, a state that he handedly lost back in 20, 2016. Bernie Sanders is the projected winner out of the state of Ohio now. Out of the state of Missouri, another state that he lost. The state of Missouri will go to Bernie Sanders. He is the projected winner. Out of the state of Illinois, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden fighting for second place. But Bernie Sanders remains on top with his huge progressive base. He is the projected winner out of the state of Illinois. Looking at the map, a lot more blue filling out in parts of the Midwest and in parts of the Rust Belt, while Biden is down in the south and Kamala Harris is mainly on the west coast. Today is now March 22nd, and we now have a number of calls to make. Out of the state of Idaho, Bernie Sanders is the projected winner. This is a very progressive state on the Democratic side. If you look at the county map from 2016, Biden will Bernie, I, I apologize, won almost every single county. Out of the state of Utah, Bernie Sanders the projected winner. Again, huge progressive population here, but the Democrats are not in the majority in according to party registration. While in the state of Arizona, Kamala Harris with her Western Coast appeal will carry her to victory out of the state of Arizona. Looking at the map, Kamala Harris has expanded her lead. Biden has gotten a few more delegates from a number of states, but he carried no states back in recent projections, while Bernie Sanders again is filling out the Midwest. Today we have poll closings from Washington, Alaska, and Hawaii. Out of the state of Alaska, Bernie Sanders is the projected winner out of the Democratic primary here. Out of the state of Washington, Bernie Sanders, the projected winner, a state that he won every single county in back in 2016. Out of the state of Hawaii, Bernie Sanders will carry the state of Hawaii and there are a number of delegates. Again, huge progressive population here. Looking at the map, Bernie Sanders is pretty much filling out the western coast and the Midwest and the states that are not connected to the continental United States. Today is April 5th, and the Wisconsin primary is now today. Out of the Wisconsin primary, Bernie Sanders is the projected winner. Not big of a surprise here. Wisconsin pretty much put Bernie Sanders back in the race back in 2016. And looking at the map, pretty much the entire Rust Belt is filled out for Bernie Sanders. Today is April 9th, and the Wyoming caucus is today. Out of the state of Wyoming, their Democratic caucus will go to Bernie Sanders by a considerable margin. Looking at the map again, Bernie Sanders filling out the Midwest. No change with Biden or Kamala Harris. Today is April 19th, and a huge state is up, the state of New York. The state of New York is now projected to go to Joe Biden, with Bernie Sanders coming in second place. The state of New York, Hillary Clinton endorsed Joe Biden for the Democratic nomination. And let's see where that puts him on the map. A little bit of red back up in the Northeast, and we'll see how it takes an effect in the April 26th primaries coming up very soon. Today is now April 26th, and the state of Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, and Rhode Island are now up for their Democratic primaries. Out of the state of Pennsylvania, Joe Biden's home state, he is the projected winner out of the state of Pennsylvania. Huge win for him, putting him back in the race. Out of the state of Delaware, Joe Biden, the projected winner, he will carry the state. This is the state he served as the United States Senator in. Out of the state of Maryland, huge African American population here, love Barack Obama, Joe Biden, the projected winner. Out of the state of Rhode Island, Bernie Sanders will narrowly carry the state of Rhode Island. Out of the state of Connecticut, another state that Bernie Sanders will narrowly carry. He is the projected winner. And looking at the map, we have a lot more red up in the Northeast, pretty much taking down Senator Sanders' lead. Vice President Joe Biden now needs to carry a number of states in order to effectively win the nomination, but it seems as if on this track that it will go to a contested convention. It is now May 3rd, and the Indiana primary is now up. Out of the state of Indiana, Bernie Sanders is the projected winner. The state of Indiana will award most of its delegates to Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. Looking at the map again, the Rust Belt pretty much a trend for Bernie Sanders except for the state of Pennsylvania. Today is May 7th and the Guam primaries are now up. Out of Guam, Bernie Sanders is the projected winner. Remember, not another state 
and they cannot vote in the 2020 presidential election, but they can vote in the primaries. Looking at the map, we add an additional blue circle for some Bernie Sanders, while Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have not cut budge one inch. It is now May 10, and the state of West Virginia's primary is now up, and this is a huge win for Bernie Sanders, who won every single county here back in 2016. He will do it yet again. According to exit polls, West Virginia voters want someone who is less liberal in the White House, according to the Democratic side. However, they went for Bernie Sanders in the primary. It seems that he's speaking to poll voters and getting a number of Democrats to switch over from the Republicans to vote for him in the primary has really worked effectively with this message. Looking at the map, pretty much all of the eastern side of the United States has been filled in, while there's still more states out in the Midwest needing to be filled. Today is May 17th, and we now have calls from the states of Oregon and Kentucky. Out of the state of Kentucky, no big surprise here, I flip from 16. Bernie Sanders, the projected winner, out of the state of Kentucky. Out of the state of Oregon, Bernie Sanders will carry the state of Oregon, and he will go on to win every single county in the state according to our projection. Looking at the map again, still some states out in the south, up in the midwest, and parts of the east. Today is June 4th, we're nearing the end of the primary. We have the state of Arkansas and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Out of the U.S. Virgin Islands, no big surprise here, Joe Biden, the projected winner. Another victory for him out of the state of Arkansas, a victory that's well needed for his campaign. Joe Biden, the projected winner from the state of Arkansas, President Bill Clinton's home state. As you can see, pretty much the south has trended towards Biden. We apologize for filling Arkansas in as blue. We meant to fill it in as red. Obviously, it's still in this column, according to the delegate count. And today is now June 5th, and we have the Puerto Rico primary, which means that Joe Biden will carry the state of Puerto Rico. Again, obviously, um, minority population here. Joe Biden doing very well here. He is the projected winner. Looking at the map, we have another red circle for Joe Biden. He is the projected winner of the state of Puerto Rico. It is now June 7th, and a number of states that we needed to fill in will now be filled in today. The state of New Mexico, Montana. North Dakota, South Dakota, and New Jersey are all holding the Democratic primaries and caucuses respectively today. Out of the New Mexico Democratic primary, Kamala Harris is the projected winner, a win for after a while of losing. Out of the state of North Dakota, Bernie Sanders the projected winner by a considerable margin. Out of the state of Montana, no big surprise here, a huge progressive population, Bernie Sanders the projected winner. While out of the state of South Dakota, Joe Biden will carry the South Dakota Democratic primary. And out of the state of New Jersey, no big surprise here. Again, another win that Joe Biden needed. The state of New Jersey going to Joe Biden. And looking on the map, we only have one part of the United States not filled in, and that's the District of Columbia. But as of right now, this will go on to go to a contested convention between the top multiple candidates, essentially Bernie Sanders, Joe Biden, and Kamala Harris. It is now June 14th, and the heart of the nation is now voting in their Democratic primary. Out of the District of Columbia, Joe Biden is the projected winner out of the heart of the nation. Remember that he served here as vice president for two terms. Joe Biden is the projected winner out of the District of Columbia by a considerable margin. And looking at the final map, Joe Biden doing very well in the South along with Kamala Harris, while pretty much Bernie Sanders scoops almost all of the Midwest and the Rust Belt. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I know it was pretty choppy because of the fact that I haven't really done a Democratic kind of primary video before. It's really hard to transition. It's harder to transition between days rather than like time periods like 7 p.m. poll close, 8 p.m. poll close. But when you jump a week, going from like March 15th to March 22nd, that's something that gets a little bit confusing. Um, but yeah, it's my first time going at it, so expect a couple more of these uh, Democratic primaries. But I, tried to, I decided to do the top three um, candidates that could run in 2020. So I wanted to see how they would fare against each other in a primary. And as you can see, the map was pretty much different from what you would actually expect. But if you like guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't agree, then you can always dislike, of course, or like it if you agree. Comment down disagreements. I'll probably respond if you have a point to be made about a certain state and why I called it or why I shouldn't have called it for a specific candidate. Don't forget to check out the mock election community, which is a Google Plus community where you can run for president, representative, or senator. I'll put the link in the description below. It's a lot of fun. Again, thank you guys for watching this video. If you ever want to contact me personally, my Snapchat is on the screen there. You can go ahead and add me. But again, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you all tomorrow.